Kristen Gilliland wishes she could play one more song with her son Anders. He, um, a very loving, creative, uh, deep thinker. This is him. Around 14, Anders started smoking marijuana. Kristen didn't approve, but also wasn't overly concerned. It's already medically legal in California at the time. Maybe it's not such, like, the worst vice to have. Exactly, because when I was growing up, it was much less potent mm -hmm. than it is now. You didn't realize that? that I had no idea. Potent. No idea. She's not alone. Government surveys show adults increasingly see marijuana use as less risky, and nearly 30% of high school seniors reported having used marijuana in the past year. At 17, Kristen says Anders started losing contact with reality. He thought that there were higher beings that were communicating with him. Kristen happens to be a neuroscientist and now believes smoking weed led to her son's psychotic bouts and triggered his eventual schizophrenia. Anders started self-medicating with other drugs to quiet the voices and died from an overdose when he was 22. I, I knew something was wrong. If he had never started using cannabis, he might still be here. You really think that? Yeah. The number of smoke shops and dispensaries are skyrocketing, with more states relaxing marijuana laws, making it easier for anyone to get a hold of high-potency THC products. Marijuana in the 60s, 70s, 80s, early 90s was about 2 to 3 percent THC. And nowadays, uh, with the commercialized products, they are routinely 20 plus percent, so about 10 times more potent. Child psychiatrist Dr. Christian Thurstone says that's playing a role in the rise in cannabis-induced psychosis among teens. Research is still ongoing, but one study found daily use of high-potency marijuana with over 15 percent THC resulted in five Five times the risk of psychosis. Another study found nearly half of patients with cannabis-induced psychosis went on to be diagnosed with schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Come on. Kristen now heads outreach at Vanderbilt's Warren Center for Neuroscience Drug Discovery and urges young people to avoid marijuana. If they could understand the superpowers they have with their developing brain, why would you want to put anything in it that's going to take away that superpower? Kate Snow, NBC News, Nashville. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.